Hey guys, welcome back to Factorio. This is Eddie Man. Today we're going to start a new series. Actually, um, it's a scenario series. We're going to be playing the Diggy scenario. Uh, so yeah, let's dig. And, um, well, this scenario is different than your normal Factorio gameplay. Well, what a twist. It's, it's the same gameplay but instead of starting off above the surface you're actually below in some kind of cave you start off with or start off in should I say so the goal is to dig uh, your way uh, to uncover more uh, open space and um, the issue with that though is as you dig out uh, if you dig too much you can cause what is called a cave-in. Now, um, there's ways to stop that from happening. Like right now you have this open space because we have the stone path down on the ground that gives us access um, to a fair amount of space here. So what I would like to, first, to do first is go ahead and place some pillars here. I know they're stone walls and we they're used as pillars to help us with digging. So that's gonna be the first thing I would do. And then um, let's come over here and start digging ourselves out as I explain further the game. Okay, mining entities such as walls, stone paths, concrete and rocks can cause a cave-in. Be careful, miner. Foreman's advice, place a wall every fourth tile to prevent a cave-in. Use stone paths to create what well, use stone paths and concrete to reinforce it further okay uh, so that's some good advice here we have up on the toolbars we have this basic info um, yes this uh, scenario is built by Redmu uh, so shout out to them um, again thank you for the free download of the scenario and all that good stuff Welcome to Redmu. Redmu is a community for players of all skill levels committed to pushing the limits of factorial multiplayer through custom scripts and crazy map designs. Okay, so if you guys want to pause the video and take a look at this, I've gone ahead and played around with this for a little bit, so I have the gists, and I'm an average factorial player, so. Uh, free coins have been given uh, for a lot looking at the welcome tabs I've already gone ahead and done that okay so we'll go ahead and close that coins the score table um, you know mark it let's close that so as you mine these rocks here okay the progress to the next level you gain experience points in older versions of the game I uh, used to collect stone and used that to send stone up to the surface. They've gone ahead and changed that. Um, and now we're in 9.17. So things are a little different now. Still fun though. As you progress to the next levels, you unlock uh, reward items to buy with coins. So at level 2, I'll be able to buy wood pieces with the coins that I'm going to be collecting. Now I've gone ahead and started off with two coins here. Um, and you go ahead and pick up when you mine the cave to open up more of the cave you will go ahead and pick up some items that are laying on the floor let's see if we can track any of them down here let's see if we can see any of them so that's pretty much it you're going to be with your pickaxe here going to be mining the cave out until we get to some kind of opening here okay so I can't reach that so I can run in here now see and I've gone ahead and with all that pick picking of the rocks I've only opened up this little space here so that leads into my next thing. Now, there is a stone path here, okay? 
But right now, let's go one, two, three, four. So the next pillar would be here. Okay. Now if I had a stone path there, I could move it down one. But right now, I don't have stone to be able to smelt to make stone bricks for the path. So we're just going to have to deal with what we have for now, which isn't much. As you can see from my inventory, it's not much at all. It's a basic start. You do start with some wall wall pieces, so you can start mining out the cave and go in to grab more of the cave itself. Because like they say, the factory must grow, right? So it's all fun and gist of this scenario, I would presume. <laughs> All right. All right. So I've gone ahead and cleared up some of the space here. Um, took a little bit of time to mine all this area, but I've gone ahead and uncovered iron, some coal, and I have some uh, stone and some copper here. I've gone ahead and also figured out how to use the uh the market as well so right now we have oh sorry nope that's not it either we are in level i believe this is level two thirty seven percent xp to the next level okay um and there's a hundred levels. You get an iron stick. That's that's weird. Okay, but anyway, um, so I don't have access to buy anything yet. I'm not sure if I unlocks at level two. So I'm not sure how the market still works. I said I did, but. I see that as I mine that the progress bar here for the next level I earn experience points but then I've never actually made a purchase yet with the market so I'm not sure how that works okay up here we have poles uh, this is mostly for like a multiplayer game uh, but I am gonna just do single player as well um, I have, in, you know, sent invites to numerous other players, uh, but I have not gotten any responses back yet. They wanted to join, so I figured I'd just jump into a single-player game right now. All right, player list. I've played for thirty-seven minutes already. All right, um, it doesn't tell me what my level is there as well either. Okay, announcements. There was no announcements. Blueprint helper. Um, so I convert blueprints and then my score I've not rock I've not blasted anything off of the rocket yet okay all right in my inventory I've kind of ahead and built the stone furnace I've smelt some stone bricks um, but it's very kind of tedious to be sitting here and mining all the time. <laughs> We can mine some of this here as long as I don't cave in this. Oh, gone ahead and pick up some coins as you saw there. Exciting. Now, this is a little pathway here through the cave. I don't know if I want to open this up even more because of the amount of space it's oh it's only two because of that rock there okay but there there is three so we're allowed three spaces until a cave in and i do have to use these at spare because i don't have that many left i might be able to get rid of these four that i've originally placed around the market um 
probably the only area that that rule does not apply obviously because of the market holds up some of the cave I would assume <laughs> all right so we uncovered some more of the iron ore here so we can get started with mining some iron up we could actually do some smelting too because we have some coal here but there's not enough there's not a lot of coal unless we could find some more under the rocks here oh found some more seven more Some more copper. Okay, this is a good start here. We can make some, get some power poles going. Well, no, we can't get some power poles going because we don't have any wood. So we can't even get power because, again, we don't even have any water. So we have to find all those necessary resources to be able to start a little mini factory up here. Pretty much what I've been doing. All right, 71 coal here. Looks like there's more copper, some more iron underneath this. But if I undercover that, there's probably got to do a cave in. So let me go ahead and put that there then. So this area does not cave in on me. I think we can go down a little bit more here. Copper, or just one copper. Okay. At least I can get some iron smelting going on here. Now, another thing we have to watch out when we're digging here, we can start uncovering biters. Now, we don't want to get too far. Um, and another thing is you can open up little, like, uh, I don't know what they're called, but they can open up like little room segments that have already been like um, pockets of the cave. Now, this was all mined out. I did not open like a pocket here because I would have obviously shown shown that on camera all right so this is only eight here let's go ahead and mine this eight up does it make sense to put a miner down on this okay and then we'll go ahead and place down our stone furnace right here okay put some coal in there and we can do some smelting. Let's alt that so we can see what we're doing here. Perfect. Okay, and this is only seven coal as well. Let's just mine this up. All right, so we have a little room here. I'm not sure which way do I want to go this way or do I want to continue up this way? Well, let's go down. All right, so I've gone ahead and digged some more down here. All right, and we have uncovered some more copper that are kind of bigger than the ones we have in our little starting area up here. Um, I'm, but that's just copper though. We are going to need a little more than just copper. We're going to need quite a bit of iron to 
get ourselves off the ground here. There's some more iron there. That's good to know. Let's see if we can create another mini small area down here. Eventually we're going to have to start building a factory and we're going to need to uncover more area areas to build. Um, we can build like little um, hallways or like passageways with using stone bricks and walls uh, to support the cave. Um, and with our arrays of sorts like science and smelting. We probably will have to surround them with pillars so we can hold up the ceiling. Here's some more iron. So um, as you guys see, I've been making some cuts here and there. I, I don't want to bore you guys with digging here all the time. Uh, so I'm just bringing you guys back in when there's some exciting stuff going on like just finding resources. That's the blunt of, of the excitement right now. <laughs> All right. Oh, that's actually mining the iron. It's not what I want to do. I want to expose some more of the cave here. What I'm looking for is a nice, decent patch of coal is what I am looking for. There's no coal really around here. Okay. Let's start in another direction here. See where this takes us. All right, just in the nick of time here, I'm gonna hit another level on experience. Oh, uh, we're just about there on the marketplace. To hit level two. So let's just mine a few more stones here. Let's get one of these big ones here. This will help me big time with that. There it is. Team has reached level two in the market. All right. So now um, let's go back to the market here and see if this lets me. Four coins. Do I have to put the coins in here first? How do I purchase? How do I utilize this? Robot mining damage four. How do I insert the coins into here? Oh, I just click on it and I buy it that way. Oh, I didn't realize that my. Okay, okay. So I don't need this then. Okay. So back to digging. So yeah, that's straightforward how to use the market. And the market is actually going to come in handy um, as I'm stuck. Am I stuck? Um, okay, I am stuck. <laughs> that was so weird. I was stuck there and all right I'm not going let's just mine this piece here all right I'm not gonna have let that happen again 
Uh, so yeah, back to the marketplace. Um, this square is open up now. So for every four coins, um, I get one piece of wood. I can also multiply this by five to make it faster if I ever need to do that. And as I gain a level in digging, it opens up more options here. That's funny. I'm going to make landfill. <laughs> Was that to patch up some water, maybe? I'm not sure what that means. Um, so it looks like I'm not going to be able to get any um, much base done in the first episode here. As my time is coming down to the nitty gritty here. I've got about two or three more minutes. Um, so I can go ahead and... I guess wrap up this episode the pilot episode of this series if you guys haven't yet please go ahead and consider throwing me a like for this video it greatly helps me in the channel and if you want to stay up with everything Eddie man don't forget to subscribe to the channel as well you can also hit me up on the discord server at Eddie man place on the discord I will be posting stuff up on there uh, pertaining at least for this series um, going forward um i have some announcements that i'll also be posting up on there over the next week or so um so stay tuned for that but right now thank you guys so much for joining me in this episode of factorio as we dig our way out and dig our way towards that, that rocket and uh like always i'll see you guys next time bye bye